Hello everybody. All right, welcome to our BBS very own YouTube channel. Uh, today we are doing our first episode on returning back to school. With me today, I'm Mr. TJ, and then with me today is Miss Risa, our co-host for today. Miss Risa, how are you? I'm great. How about you, sir? Yeah, thank you. It's always good to be back to school, isn't it? Indeed, it was. Two years of pandemic has totally got us all haywired and online. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure not only you and me are excited to come back to school. I think our students, our parents, are all excited Very about coming true. back to school. All right. But before we, we we talk about you know how we prepare our kids, you know. Uh, us to go back to school, come back to school to have more fun, more fun learning, more engaging learning. Um, I'm sure we not only do well, but I think we try in our HPL. All right, for the two and a half years, would you like to share a little bit about your experience? Well, having two and a half years in uh, HBL home-based learning was not an easy, uh, how do I say, uh, journey because everything was new, not only for the students but teachers as well. We had to from offline learning where we had face-to-face -face interaction to online seeing a camera that is closed and you don't know if the student is around, it's not an easy precisely, thing. Precisely, precisely. All right. Yeah. And I think managing an online classroom is definitely more challenging than managing an on-site classroom. Very true. But sir. I'm very proud of the teachers and the students, you know, learning never stopped in BBS. In fact, we have tried, we have done so much better. You know, um, and there's a lot of good things that we can learn all right, from Very that. true. And I'm actually very proud of our BBS campus because during our HBL, all teachers are still on site to teach a student any single time, every single day. And not only that, we also had CCA online. Amazing, wow. amazing. How yeah. do you do CCA online? Oh my God, we had a time that is uh, uh, divided that they have given once a week where students will actually go into their respective online class in Zoom, via Zoom, and uh, had teachers coming in to coach them, and they have been doing cooking. Wow. Yeah, and, and they had some IT things that they learn, and also debating skills. So there's so many uh, very uh, uh, impressive journey, I would say, you know, because who say learning cannot take place anywhere? Learning everywhere, anytime. I think that is the motto of our you know kind of philosophy all right so moving forward i think uh, preparing our kids you know and our teachers back to our campuses i think we have done a lot of work yeah uh, to prepare to, to make sure there is a safe environment for everybody all right so that you know we can continue the learning processes so maybe you know i'll bring you to the you know kind of background things that we have done and see how much work has done before you kids and parents can come back safely to the school yes indeed sir uh, but before we go into that, let's have a very short clip on our HBL, what has been done throughout the two and a half years. Thanks for watching. Like this. And you were 
make sure there's no gaps or anything. Perfect. Hello, Watercolor paint if you want to make a medium dark color. Okay, so there is a pattern that uh, when we are solving in number seven while ago, correct? So I go back again. So you can see. So when we are getting the term in X5, when we expand, right? So this is our clue for the expansion, right? X5. So we put the high, uh, this one is the power. So that is 8. Uh, that is our N. And 5 is our R. So from this formula, right? Okay, everybody, I think you have just seen uh, how well we have done for the HBL with all the learning taking place online. Uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody. All right. Indeed, it was. Uh, thank you all once again for being a part of us. All right. Let's go into our next part where we would like to invite Miss Ina, who, were, who is our safety protocol yes, safety officer. officer. Yes, yeah. yeah. And she'll be coming in to tell us a little more on the guidelines and safety protocols that they have come up with for the safety of our students. Yes, students, parents, please listen carefully because you need to follow the rule to stay safe. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Ina. I'm in charge for the safety protocol at Binabangsa School Kebun Jeruk. I'm going to share what we have done so far to welcome the students back to school and um, to provide the students also with a safe environment uh, when they uh, have the learning on site. Okay, so the very first thing is um, the health and safety of our students, our teachers and staff will be our high priority. For that reason, the very first thing, we look at into what we have in school. We have the school premises and we make sure that we clean and disinfect the schools, especially the rooms that um, expose uh, and the students will be coming there, okay, uh, openly, such as the classroom, the library, the canteen, the bookstore, or the, even the lobby, right? So we do it regularly. Okay, we do the cleaning, disinfecting and everything, right, to make sure that everyone is safe here. And then after that, we also do the uh, COVID-19 testing for our teachers before the school starts. It can be done monthly or at the point of needed. Okay, for the students, we have the control entry. The students need to log in into the student's portal, get the QR code and they have to answer some uh, question. If they are okay to come to school, they will get the code and they have to scan it in school. Right? That's our first um, assessment on the student's health. Yeah, then after that, we also check the body temperature in school. All right, then we make sure that the teachers also aware with the symptom that might appear in school. Yeah, for to our students. Yeah. So that's what the uh, students have to do during the school day. And after school, we also ask the cooperation from parents to ensure that our students are okay, their children are okay, right? And then uh, they have to notify the school if something happened, if there is a symptom, or there is someone at home also confirmed with the COVID-19. Then we need the cooperation from everyone, from teachers, from students, from 
uh, parents remember that we are part of the global community and that's our responsibility to stop the spread of COVID-19. Well, everybody, I'd like to take this opportunity again, you know, it's more than just thank you, thank you, thank you to the team led by Miss Ina to come up with a protocol, right, to come up with the SOP to keep us all safe in school. Yeah, Miss Lisa? Yes, indeed, because not only for the students, but it also affects the teachers, the staff, and also parents alike. Yes, so, indeed. thank you, Miss Ina. You are the best. Well, Risa, I think it's time for us to visit the school, talking so much about how much we are prepared for the returning to school, shall we? Yes, we shall. Why are we still here, Risa? <laughs> I think uh, we need both our energy, sir. Really? Okay, yeah, let's, try let's that again. do it together. One, two.